guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting very to episodes one and two of season two, or really the second half of Descending Stories, BTW. It is 2.40 in the morning. Um, I, I'm tired, but I'm not tired, and I was, I was wanting to do this hours ago, but my mom wanted to watch movies, and I came in here sat down and I was like I'm not gonna fall asleep and I just got out of the shower and I was like I need to do this kind of before I go to bed or this is gonna have to come out next week and I was like fuck it I have time so we're gonna get this done today and we're gonna get it done right the fuck now but I mean that was gonna get started with episode one in three two one go two weeks yeah that day and you're upside down it's like how Rest in peace, Shen. Which is so crazy because of the fact is I never would have thought that, yes, his daughter would have followed in the same footsteps as her mom being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a kid. And I'm going to keep the kid. But I really think she's going to try it. The reason why she wants to keep the kid is because she wants her kid to have a better life than she did, especially with the fact is losing both of your parents. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, he is a good guy.
เอา้าอีกแก้วเทคแก้วคุณไม่อือฮึ Damn. Well, I mean, how long are you gonna be here for? So at least you'll have time to see Vaughn. It's the performance, yeah. Now that hard work pays off.
Just get out of this fucked up situation. <laughs> Why do I feel like in this story he's gonna die? <laughs> Old stare just as much as her dad did. No. Mm. <laughs> mm. And he's right. You really shouldn't be walking out here alone, especially with the baby. <laughs> I'm speaking just like her mom. I mean, but she's smart, though. Stop. I can't. Don't do this to my fucking heart. Not now. Yeah, but slowly over due time, you fall in love with her. <laughs> Honestly, she a heartbreaker just like her mom. <laughs> and I'm not saying that in a bad way.
not, but I think he's here to promote you in some way. I don't know. Something a little fishy about him. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, that is the goal for him. See, something tells me that he's going to try to help you to in some weird way. I mean, it's even in your old age, you're probably still going to be studying. Worse. <laughs>
<laughs> so gullible. Of course he does. Right? I mean, yeah, you can ask him for approval, but even if he doesn't say anything, it's all on you. And I think if her parents were so alive, I think, you know, honestly, her dad would love you. Right. <laughs> right. You you want to remember something in like the happy times and the good times and such, not when it was all you know the wrong turn and everything. But I, I think Yuta he has a good feeling about this. Okay, one. Let's talk about this. It is going to be a little interesting to see these three live on one, well, four, technically, under one roof. Because, of course, there's going to be a whole bunch of chaos. Just like it pretty much with anything when, you know, people all live together. Oh. The guy that really also talked to Yuta, I mean, I get it. He wants to still share the world and the word. Because it, it, when I still think of Rakugo now, like, it, it's more like spoken word and such. Except it's a little different from spoken word and, like, poetry and everything. But it is somewhat similar in a way because it's both a performance regardless. But I get it. Like, yeah, in certain parts, it, like, it, it's died and people have moved on from it. But, you know, it is still strong in other cities and such. And so I get it. Yeah, you want to... Oh, shit, excuse me. You want to... Uh, do that again. You want to revamp it. There is nothing wrong with revamping something, especially when you can put life into something that was once old and make it new again. But at the same time, and I gotta be real on this. Look at anything that has gotten like a second chance. Okay, no, no, no. Let me tell you like this. Let's look at revivals. Revivals, reboots, sequels, um, prequels. Well, not really prequels. Just anything that gets a sequel. And let's say the sequel or spin-off has not had something into like years. We're in that year. We've been in those years in the world of Hollywood and movies and TV shows for like years, eons now. 
And sometimes taking the idea, making a brand new, is especially for like Hollywood. And and my point, I cannot say the same for like anything outside of the United States. It is always a hit or miss with us. It really, truly is. Once again, I can talk about Charlie's Angels reboot in a nutshell because, of course, that will always be one of the worst. Um, as somebody who watched religiously the old Gossip Girl when I was a teenager and I still kind of watch it now, I have not re-watched the newer Gossip Girl since the show ended. Yes, I still love those characters from the new show, but I think at the same time, due to writers and such who were on the old cast, I mean, well, on the old series and moved on to the new series, there were things that they just didn't know about. Like me, I haven't been in high school in a hot minute. So am I out of the loop? Freaky I am. Honestly, I truly am. I, if I decided to make like a TV series on something, I, that's when you really need to get people or the um, POV of someone who is still in school to under understand that truly and such. Sometimes it, it is a little weird and I I think I've also talked about this before with like revivals and everything where you're, you're having like a teenager, a, no, well, a character who's supposed to be like 16, 17 and stuff and the person who's writing them is someone who hasn't been in school in like a long ass time. So they're not going to understand like that. And, and then there's other things on it and this is that and the third. But with this getting a revival for Rock Ago, in my opinion, this is the first step for it to initially be good. And hopefully in the right direction. Yeah, not everybody is going to be really okay with it. But there are going to be ones who are really going to take that initiative first step and be like, okay, let's see how this goes. That's all it really is. And it is scary. I am really, truly scared to go on this journey with these characters and such to see how this is going to go. But of course, we have to see. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay. Episode two in three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Still, even in his old age, he's still beautiful. <laughs> Not the Evangelion reference. That candle represents him. Yeah, you can't always yell all the time. Right. Take care of the baby. Have some money. Take her out. Take the kid out. Oh no, he's gonna cry.
<laughs> From one baby to another. Yeah, but it was bound to happen. Especially in the modern era, you're always psh, gonna get found out about something. But see, my thing is, okay, but let's be a little more honest on this. With, with the fact that Yota's pass about being in the Yakuza is now here. Mm. Wait, hold on, we don't want to fight. <laughs> Like now, because of him, you know, the news of him being in the Yusa, his reputation is definitely going to go down. Like, in the end, he's just going to be thrown out like a pack of gum. And chewed up and spit out. And I fell for him. <laughs> oh. Portal. That's also because you're not practicing the woman voice enough. Exactly. It takes years. He didn't know everything overnight. We all know Bond didn't know everything overnight. It took him time. One thing we just don't want him to do is just to call it fucking quits.
see, I feel like now. Oh. Right? I, I think she looks at him as a father figure now. But still. Of course. What's your actual dad? Oh, we know, babe. We know. Excuse me, oh, I need an energy drink or something to keep me up. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I honestly think so too. It's mainly due to the rain. Oh. <laughs> And then, yeah, 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 your pass. Of course. They're gonna be like, mm, this dude in the Yakuza formerly? Uh uh. No, can't take him seriously. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, hold up. But who else is going to take his anger out on? Yeah, oh, that's better. Mainly do my freaking earrings. Don't listen to him. You're still doing great.
keep trying. A for effort. It's okay. Well, at least he got some claps. <laughs> Maybe the kind of wife who does not want to come home and get his ass beat. <laughs> My bad. The kind of man who would want to get his ass beat by his wife. <laughs> oh One's already gotten inside. Sure, he ain't drunk. <laughs>
the fact that majority ain't even paying him no mind. Oh, baby. Oh, you're digging your own grave. Yeah, but to him, it wasn't as great as he just, you know, he tried. You really think that's the best, though? But okay. I get it. Sometimes, hell, I sometimes do that after work. I will literally have me a nice glass of wine, something good to just... Take my edge and the nerves off. I would take it. But he about to chew you out when you get home. Aren't you? Yeah. It's not a scar. It's something that belongs to you. But, like, it, it's your past, sweetie. Never be ashamed of your past. That shows you how far you've come. It's beautiful. Yeah. Right.
And I get it. The daughter had to get into the business too. Where else is she getting money and such? Oh. I have a bad feeling. Oh, okay. Time the fuck out. When I opened my eyes up and just seeing Bon clutching his shirt, he's having a heart attack or something. That or he's crying. And I ain't going no context until next week. So that could literally be anything. D don't let him die early on. He's not supposed to die until at least episodes 10, 11, 12, or 13. That's it. Final four episodes. He needs to be alive for the rest of the show to see uh, um, Yota like going through everything. He has to be there for him. Just as much as his, you know, master was there for him and so on and so forth. But, okay. I, I, I Once again, as I said, having now the initiative of Yuto's past coming to light, having everyone find out all these news about him and that he's in the Yakuza and everything. Of course, everyone's like, all right. Don't really want to associate myself to them anymore. Not associating myself to him, to them, anyone. Cancel everything that we've had for these two and such. In a way, they got canceled without knowing that they were actually canceled. And the fact is, the guy excuse me, from Bud's past, who was also there when, you know, his master passed away and such and is now here doing some things. I don't really trust him. He, he seems a little shady and fishy to me. So something might be happening up with him. He might be the antagonist of the second half of the show. But who really knows? But everything was going so well up until that credit. And that and then no, 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 no. I'm not cool with that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of season two of Descending Stories. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for episodes three and four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.